If statements are used commonly in different programming languages, if you know how to use the if statement and you understand the concepts in one programming language, then it will be easier to convert that to different programming languages in the, dif the different syntax that you would need for each language. They are used to plot decisions. So if you have a decision, for example, if the salesperson sold more than 100000 then they get a bonus of $200. If they did not, then they will not get a bonus. So that requires a decision that you have to make in the programming logic. Let's look at this example for the hotel rate. If the customer is older than 65, as a senior citizen, for example, if you, the customer is greater than 65 years old, then the hotel rate will be deducted, um, $20 will be deducted from the hotel rate. So if the hotel rate is 155, the customer would be charged $135 per night. Otherwise, the customer will be charged $155. So let's look at this, uh, state, this if statement in decision tree format. Decision trees are used to plot out your logic before you enter the code. And what you'll do is you can use this decision tree format or you can just plot it out in English or more pseudocode um, types of formats. Um, either way, it's a little easier to add your code and to write your code if you already plotted the logic out first. So let's start here. The hotel rate we are setting to $155 per night. The next step is to set the user age variable to whatever the user has entered. So <clears throat> the user has entered $68. And what we'll do is go to the decision next, and that's a diamond shape. I'm not worried too much about the shapes for the moment, but if it's a um, diamond shape, then that's the decision tree. Okay, so the user age is going to be set to whatever the user entered. So that's 68 and it's greater than 65. So we will calculate the hotel rate, subtract 20, and then it's 135. So then that variable will change in memory and as well it's keeping that 68 for the user age in memory. And then we'll go down. It skips any else statements that might be involved and goes to um, the, the printing. So if, if it was not greater than 65, it would go automatically to the false. And then after that, we, um, we go ahead to the print, okay? So what we'll do is put your rate to output, meaning you can print your rate to output. So we'll print the text your rate and on the same line, we'll print or put the hotel rate to output. And so if we go to the hotel rate, it's $135, so that will be printed. If the user is less than or equal to 65 years old, it's going to go in, get the input as, let's say, 40, for example. So it is a false statement. The user is not greater than 65. It will go down to the false statement. It totally skips and ignores the true statement. It goes directly to the false statement and goes and puts in your rate. And the rate for that person will be 155. And you will uh, print that to output. So a couple of things about the if statements. Let's look at this in code format in Python. The discounted rate is going to be calculated by this code, and we'll print out whatever we need for the rate that each customer would receive. So we're going to set the hotel rate variable to 155. We're going to get the user age from whatever age is input by the user. So we're going to prompt them and say age, 
um, and that will prompt them to enter an age. That's going to be um, converted to an integer format. And then we'll determine if the age is greater than 65. We'll go to the next line if that's true, and we'll deduct $20 from the hotel rate. However, if the user or the customer is not greater than 65, we'll go to the else statement, and it totally ignores this statement. It will go to the else statement, and I've added this in here. It's not really in the, the decision tree, but I've added it just so that you can see that logic. It's going to pull the hotel rate, and um, it's going to be $155. You don't necessarily need that, um, but I'm just putting that in there for clarity. Okay. Um, otherwise, you'll go in, make your decision here, and you'll go down to the next line and it will print your rate and print hotel rate. Okay. A couple of things you need to remember about the code and the syntax for the if else statements. The um, the Python language is case sensitive, so you need to add the if and the else. Um, add those to your code as lower case, otherwise you might get an error. The next thing is that the if statement ends in a colon and the else statement ends in a colon. The um, lines need to be indented as well. So the line or lines underneath the if statement for true need to be indented for spaces. Under the else statement, whatever is under the else statement, it can be one line or more, it will also be indented for spaces. Okay, so in this case, it's got a little bit different syntax than you might use in other languages, but just keep in mind those particular points.